Hey guys, it's Vi. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Moving On Up with McKenna Styles. So I wanted to say a big huge thank you to all of my viewers, subscribers, and friends who have been leaving me tips, tricks, comments, and all kinds of stuff. Of all of my Moving On Up uh, little... I'm doing four of them. So of all of the Moving On Up series, this one is the most commented on and has the most feedback of all of them. So I think that you guys like McKenna the most so far. Um, also, actually, I think of any LP that I've got going right now, this is the most talked about. So anyways, with that being said, I have had so much feedback and I'm going to have to start at the very beginning of stuff. So I was saying that I was confused because McKenna seemed to just be standing around and not doing anything until I tell her to do something. Well, the last Moogle told me to check the game options and check the autonomy to see what that one was at because maybe I have it disabled. And yes, I do. Disable autonomy for selected sim is selected, which is not what I want. I want I want autonomy all the time for everybody that's in this household. So thank you, the last Moogle, for that tip. I hope that has fixed it so now she's just going to kind of carry on and do things on her own. Um, I also had her in a like an event or something was going on and I was super super confused. It was down here and it wasn't telling me anything in the top left hand corner. It wasn't instructing me to do anything and I couldn't figure out what she was missing. It may have been a welcome wagon or something else. Angel Angelia Goody and Rachel Hines Haynes have both said that it was a social event that was running. Um, sometimes neighbors get together and, you know, they don't give you any goals. They don't tell you stuff. The only thing they say is like, maybe it's a, um, like game night and you just kind of have to guess about the things you should be doing. So game night, obviously you're probably going to have to play video games or something like that for that kind of thing. So it might've been a welcome wagon or something else. So thank you guys for that, that information because I was totally at a loss for things. Um, I'm going to come up here to the apartment. I'm going to go into build mode and this is why I wish that I could play games live because the episode that I purchased this wonderful little pumpkin carving station, there were at least two of you that said something. So Lori Smith said, don't bother to buy that table, which I already did. So I already did it. She says pumpkins are not a good way to go. They probably won't even make it until then. She means that by the time that the flea market is is available it may have already you know gone spoiled so I couldn't sell them if I wanted to another viewer subscriber and friend Angelia good or goody says that pumpkins are not worth the trade-off unless you can mark them up a whole lot so it's just not worth it because of that feedback I'm gonna go ahead and sell the pumpkin carving station I'm also gonna go back down here and I'm going to delete the pumpkin in her inventory because it's just not gonna make it. It has like four days until it goes bad and I have no clue when that's gonna happen. So a viewer subscriber and friend, Rachel Haynes, suggested that I sell these posters, but I wanted to check them out before I sell them because I wanted to see exactly what they look like. So there are the three posters that we have collected and I think it's a eight collection total, so I think that we have a good handle on it. This one is beautiful and I'm sad to see it go, but Rachel, because it has been suggested and it is smart because we could use the cash, I'm going to sell all of these posters. And it looks like McKenna just leveled up to level two. Oh, here we go. Yes, I want to sell it. Okay, and I am going to tell McKenna to come up here and take a bath. She could probably use one by now. Let's check her out. She's got, yeah, she's pretty, pretty dirty here. So that's, that's, yeah. She's going to come up here and take a bath. But anyways, those were the kind of maintenance-y things that was suggested that I do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to pop this back out of her inventory and put it back in her apartment. I wish that I would have read, um all the stuff down here better at the busking station. It's not available for you to play the keyboard and earn tips down there, so that's not gonna work. What did you, what are you doing? She's chatting with someone. I wanted you to come up here and take a bath. Oh, you're all dirty. Oh, but she did meet somebody. So that was something that she wanted to do. Oh my gosh, look how grungy you are. Oh my goodness. But anyways, guys, because there is so much feedback, etc., on this LP, I just wanted to really tell you thank you your tips, your tricks, everything that you have to say, all the comments that you are saying about McKenna and this LP in general, how it's being played. 
it's nothing but positive feedback and you guys are just, you're rocking it. So thank you so much for the interactions between you and myself. It's fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. And I really, it's making this LP even more fun for me to play. So let's see here. She wants to swipe an item and give an apartment key. She doesn't know people good enough to do that. We don't have a job because she is unemployed. Um, let me see, how tired is she? She is not too bad, folks. And there was something that was suggested to me by Miss Angelia Good. And she said that I should use the stuff at the Arts Center. So we're going to go down to the Arts Center, if I can find out where it is because it's not here at this one so we're gonna have to as soon as she's done with her bath I'm going to take her gosh which one is the arts district I think it's literally the art district bye get with the program hello okay so we're going to speed up time in her bath because I want her to be clean hopefully she won't be too tired by the time she gets out of her bath I think we should be okay yeah on your mark, get set. Oh, wait, what is this? Hold on, stop everything. I'm not going to be going to the art center yet. It says, Rawr, it's bear night at the bar. Do you want to hang out at the Shrieking Llama? Yes, yes, I do. So let's go ahead and accept. And we are going to go to bear night. So I was going to use the stuff at the art center. Angelia, that is a very, very good idea. So we will be doing that soon. But at this moment, we got a phone call for beer night and I want to go. Yay, here we are guys, it's bear night and I did learn something the other day. So, it says, rawr, it's bear night. Sim's willing to get a little beastly tonight, can enjoy discounted prices. So I am going to bring her in here to the ladies restroom because we are going to go here and we are going to change our appearance. Because I tried this in an offline game, guys, and honest to goodness, it works. So you can't get discounted drinks unless you are dressed up like a bear. So we're going to go in here and we're going to change our appearance. We're going to find the bear costume. I'm going to have her switch into it so that if she buys drinks, they're going to be at a discounted price. So here we go. I'm going to do it for, I'm going to say it's for party wear. So we're going to give her an additional outfit here and we're going to go full body and we're going to go here for costumes and we're going to take this off. I guess maybe it has to be an everyday outfit. I don't know. So anyways, we're just going to do it this way because I am. So we have two bear costumes and I don't know if they both count or if just one counts, but I know for a fact that this one will work. So I'm going to go ahead and throw her into, we're going to be the panda bear just because why not? We're going to be a panda bear. It is kind of cute, but the face looks a little menacing. But here we go, we have this outfit, and I don't know if she's going to be in it right now or if I'm gonna have to switch her into it, but we're gonna switch into our bear costume. <laughs> nope, she's not in it. So we're gonna go outfits, and it was a change outfit. It was a party outfit that I set it up as, and can't see it. Okay, there we go. She's gonna switch into her bear costume. So check this out. Um, well, maybe, oh, there's no mixologist. I can't show you yet. Oh no, she's embarrassed, why? She's embarrassed because, oh, she got caught stealing. What was she trying to swipe? Obviously, it wasn't successful because she didn't get anything. She wants to stargaze with Jasminder. Uh, where are you, Jasminder? Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's see. Friendly, ask for reassurance. Ooh, ask when baby's due date is. Let's go ahead and stargaze for just a little bit. She is so stinking cute, guys. I cannot wait for her baby, and she's not even a sim that I can control. <laughs> I hope she decides to just drop by sometime at McKenna's place. Wouldn't that be fun? Because I think we gave Jess Mender a key, if I remember correctly. So let's see. Oh, there you go. You know, when you're pregnant, it is so hard to get up, so I probably shouldn't have asked her to stargaze with me. What is this one? Get out in the city. We will do that because we actually live in the city. It's not letting me pin it, and I have no idea why. There we go. It did. So she just got the inspired moodlet. So I'm going to come over here now that there's a mixologist. And check this out, guys. Order bear night drink. Look at this. If it'll do it. Hmm. Order bear night drink. There we go. My game must be lagging or something. I'm not sure. But as you can see, every single one of these drinks on the list, except for water because it's free, <laughs> Everything is discounted because she is in a bear costume. If I wasn't in a bear costume, you wouldn't see this, and I just think that's so cool. But anyways, we're going to buy something. I have no idea 
What about this what a heftaber? Sounds great. We're gonna buy a drink because it's discounted and she came all the way out to the bar so we might as well at least spend some money. She is getting tired but that's my own fault. Anyways, those uh, the events are very similar to this where it's just bear night at the bar and it doesn't really have anything going on. It just has a timer countdown. Um, those events uh, that happen is kind of like that, sort of, like game night or the welcome wagon or any of that stuff. That's kind of what it is, but anyways, look at all these bears. I'm the only one that looks like the panda bear. They all are the brown bear. Hmm. Ooh, she's in a right state. She looked upset. She looked really mad. She's gonna get her drink. All right, McKenna, get your drink on. Get your juice on. I love the bar stuff. It's kind of fun. I don't use it very often, but I really enjoy it, though. The mixology. Yeah, that's fun. If he would make my drink, that'd be fantastic, though. We're still waiting. Ah, one more drink. This must be ours. Yes, it is. Oh, you can't sit there. It's because of the lamp. I hope she can... Oh, good. There we go. She got her drink. And what else should we do here? Hmm. Maybe we should play games. I don't know if she can play games and drink that at the same time. So let's choose the play together option and see if she can bring her drink and play at the same time. I really don't know. They can always multitask and do stuff, but I'm never sure what they can multitask. Are you going to bring it or are you going to leave it on the table? So she brought it, I think. It's no longer in her inventory. Well, I don't think it was ever in her inventory. But it's not in her inventory and it is not on the table. So either it's poof in the ether and it is gone forever, or she kind of has it somehow. And I have no idea. But I know that this one, if you have drinks, they'll set the drinks here on either side of the score. Right there and right there. It's actually pretty cool. So let's see. Hopefully she can win. That would be awesome. Let's get some... Let's, let's win. I also want to check some of the uh, collectibles out here. Because blackberries and stuff. Ooh. There's blackberry and it's nowhere near ready. This is quite a big area to search around, I think. Let's see. We have the grill out here. There's some little mushrooms. Yep, wild mushroom plants. We could harvest this one. It's a frog spot. But it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of anything. At least not anything available right now. We have a bunch of stuff somewhere. I don't play a whole lot out here, but I do know that there's a lot of trees and stuff, but I don't think they're going to be ready yet. Ooh. <gasps> Go here together. No, nope, we're going to dig that up. We need some money. So, let's see. Where else can we go? Get that stuff, McKenna. Like I said, this area is huge where she can walk around, but I don't know how much of it is available to her. There's lots of blackberries and things, but they're not going to be ready. They're not going to be ready. Oh, fishing spots and all kinds of stuff. If you haven't played out here in Windenburg, it is such a beautiful area. And isn't this super cute? I love this little spot up here. It's just neat. But I really don't know how much of collectibles there are going to be out here for her. So I think we'll just grab those. She is tired. But see, look at this, guys. This will be like a whole grove out here. You see all these? I think these turn into lemon trees or something. Yep, lemon trees, all this back here. So, with time, this will be cool. Bear night at the bar is almost over. And I think we're going to have to just go back to the apartment and put her down for sleeping, I think. Let's see, did we get a good frog when we did that? No, we got a $10 frog, which isn't fantastic. And we got, we're going to open the time capsule, even though I know it might be naughty. Maybe we can do all the collections. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send her back home. The reason I say that maybe we can do all the collections is a viewer, subscriber, and friend, Red Girl, she suggested that I complete all of the collections. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have time to complete all the collections in this LP just because there are so, 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 so many to do, but I will give it an attempt just for you. So anytime we get a collectible or a box or something like this, I will go ahead and open it because... That'll get us one step closer to the My Sims trophy collection being complete. So she is running off into oblivion. She's going to go take me to the loading screen, and I will catch up with you when we get back to her house. 
Alrighty, here we are back at the house. I'm going to switch her outfit and we're going to go to bed. So I'm going to switch her back in into pajamas and I am going to send her to bed very shortly. But hold on for one second. I'm going to bring her in here really quickly. So I'm bringing her in here. She is exhausted. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and let her go to sleep right now. Um, it was suggested, <laughs> lots of suggestions, guys, from Angelia Goody that we buy a guitar or a violin. Uh, so I'm going to buy her a violin because she can actually use that at the busking station. Um, let's see. This will be in the activities and skills. We're going to come here. I'm going to buy her the violin. I think this is a kid's one. Maybe not. I thought there was a kid's violin. I have no idea. Let's see. Maybe it's just under kid stuff. Okay, so this one just looks like the regular violin. So we're gonna go ahead and buy McKenna a violin. I'm gonna buy it in the color blue to match her blue hair, her beautiful blue hair. I love McKenna, she's so, she's so cool. Anyways, so I bought the violin so then she can use the busking station to earn tips and all that kind of stuff. And tomorrow when she wakes up, I think we're, I think tomorrow or I guess what I should say in the next episode, because it's going to be tomorrow in the next episode, we are going to go over to that art center and we are going to use some of the goodies over there because I know they have like a woodworking table and things like that, I have been told. So we're going to check that out. So as she's sleeping the rest of her way, I'm going to call it an episode. Thank you so much for watching Moving On Up with McKenna Styles. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you once again for all your tips, your tricks, and your suggestions. Keep them coming. I genuinely appreciate and love them. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see all you guys next time. Bye guys.